Welcome back to a very special Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and with Halloween right around the corner, I figured it was time to go ahead and play some creepy games. And no game is creepier than Doom Freakin' 2. Well, I guess, actually, there are creepier games, but whatever. Doom 2 is seasonal, seasonally appropriate, and I'm going to give it a shot. So we have the computer here, just going ahead, hunting demons, showing us how it's done. I always got kind of an Ash Evil Dead feel from Doom Guy. I know technically he's, if you look at him, he's like a space marine and kind of like a Halo uniform. But like, look at his bloody little face down there. He really just looks like a dude who picked up a, found a shotgun and, and some demons were bothering him. And like, you put two and two together and before you know it, he's, he's a demon killing machine. Kind of like Ash from the Evil Dead series, uh, the Bruce uh, Campbell character. Anyway, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop in here. Now, the interesting thing about Doom 2 is when we played Doom and had different episodes, Doom 2 here does not have different episodes. I'm going to turn the difficulty down just a bit. I'll play on Hey, Not Too Rough. I won't go on the easiest. I, I, I'll give you guys a bit better show than that. But if I go on the harder levels, like Nightmare, I'm just not even going to make it. So we're going to go on this level. But the, there are no episodes. Doom 2 here is just one long, constant uh, episode, uh, which is kind of nice because you don't lose all your weapons and power between episodes like you did in Doom 1. So here we are, they're the, the first enemies, now you could just shoot them, or what I like to do, this is, a little, this is the first of many secrets in Doom 2, is you can go back here and get a chainsaw. Now if you don't know about this chainsaw you just see the enemies and you walk down here, you'll fall down a bit of a gap and you can't get back up, and so uh, you will not be able to get the chainsaw. Let's go ahead and give this guy a chainsaw to the back and this guy a chainsaw to the front. And that's how you do it. Um, so we're going to be killing a lot of guys. Don't feel bad for those guys. They were human, but uh, demons turned them into zombies. And I don't know if there's a way to rescue them or get them back. I'm just going to assume there isn't. Um, and our journey has begun. There's another guy. We're not going to feel too bad for gunning this guy down. You know, the two enemies that you can kill in video games... Uh, without remorse are Nazis and zombies and these guys are zombies so uh, we're gonna go with it um, actually I guess <laughs> I mean there was a time when you could kill Nazis without it being controversial but you know the whole thing with uh, Wolfenstein that uh, happened a while back there I don't want to get into any of that guy with you guys today you can go and read about it it's completely ridiculous if you ask me but anyway um, we're gonna be killing some zombies today um, at least I hope they're zombies. Maybe they're just like dudes who I've had like an ongoing disagreement with, like a, a work-related disagreement. I don't know. But uh, I don't know what those guys are doing, just hanging out on top of platforms. It's almost like they were like cage dancers, like they were putting on a show for the other demons or something like that. I don't know. But uh, anything good in here does not seem to be anything. Um, like we did in Doom 1, if you walk around humping the walls, just walking around pressing door open, um, occasionally you will find some sweet secrets. I have a feeling that this room is full of nothing. Okay, so this room is totally useless. Not even a key card, nothing. Just a couple of dudes hanging out on a platform. I don't know what their their end game was. They just wanted to hang out up there and have fun. So Doom 2 here. Oh god, I hear demons. Where's that coming from? Probably up here. Oh, nice try, buddy. I was always disappointed that I could not get the... Uh, the, rif the rifles that the zombie guys carry. Like, I have a handgun, but if you look at the zombies up close, they're carrying, like, an M16. I always kind of wanted that uh, gun. Of course, Brutal Doom went ahead and fulfilled my wildest fantasies. So, of course, Doom 2 here seems kind of tame by today's standards, um, but it is still a really fun game. It, it starts off kind of slow here, actually, uh, which is surprising. I don't remember it starting off this sort of slow and calm. Uh, but if you are looking for an amped up version of Doom, I highly recommend you check out Brutal Doom. I've played it twice on my channel because it is so damn awesome. So I 100% recommend checking that out. There were four other secrets that we did not find, by the way, just uh, FYI. But that's okay. We just want to see how far we can get in this game. We're not going to get all the secrets, guys, because uh, I don't know where they all are. And... Uh, I don't know, I guess, I guess finding secrets in video games, like I never understood how people really did it. 
You know, like, there are, like, some really obscure secrets in all sorts of, like, really old video games, and I always wondered, like, you could Google, well, I mean, back in the day you couldn't Google, but you could buy, like, a strategy guide that would show you weird secrets. Um, these days you can Google secrets. Oh, that door opened super fast. Um, but I always kind of wondered as a kid, like, how did people figure out secrets? Because some, some secrets in old games are so obscure that, like, I don't understand how anyone's supposed to know about them. Yes, shotgun time. Look at the smile on my guy's face. He knows what time it is. It's time for shotguns. Um, you must just have to get insanely lucky when it comes to, like, discovering new secrets. Get over here, buddy. Nobody, nobody doesn't die when I say it's time for them to die. What's with that one door? Look, it opens so fast. It's so weird. It's like a Star Trek, like, whoosh door. Um... What was I? I was talking about Doom 2 before I got totally sidetracked here. Uh, we want to go in there eventually. Let's see what's going on over here. Um, so yes, Doom 2 here. It was an interesting beast compared to Doom 1. So first of all, Doom 1 is basically just this. It's This is kind of a weird game in that, like, it didn't really add too much to the Doom formula. I mean, what it did add is new enemies. I think it doubled the amount of uh, enemies from Doom 1. So you have that. You also have new levels, of course. Um, and you have one new weapon, the double-barreled shotgun, which hopefully we get to see at some point here. Um, oh, you jerks. Look, there's just a big gang of them hanging out in there like, look at them all. Just snipe them. They're shooting each other. I do love how the, the enemies will like uh, fight each other within Doom. If an enemy is like trying to kill you and somebody shoots him in the back, he's like, what the F, man? He'll turn around, he'll actually shoot his friend. I always thought that was super realistic. Um, I, I've always talked about how I like uh, the sort of AI in Halo because I think it's super realistic and, and sort of dynamic. Um, I've never seen enemies fight amongst themselves other than in Doom, which is always a really awesome mechanic that I always thought should be in more games. You can't jump in Doom, so here's how you get across the gap. You hold the run button, and you wish for the best! And you get it. Um, so yes, there was one new weapon, a bunch of new enemies, but other than that, not too much else new in Doom 2. It's kind of interesting, because like, I kind of feel like if this game were released today, people might complain that it didn't have enough content or something, but like back in the day, we were just like thirsty for more Doom. I mean, I guess, okay, it did have one other big feature, which is, um, it had online multiplayer, which actually, you know what, no, I take it back, people wouldn't have complained. Oh, you jick. Man, a couple shotgun blasts to the back really hurt. I mean, I don't know why I say that like it's a surprising fact, but <laughs> it hurts more than you would think. Okay, guys, it hurts. It hurts on the inside. It hurts my emotions. How could he betray me and shotgun blast me to the back? Um, but yes, the the online network play is a big deal. Um, and uh, this game was huge in the in the multiplayer community. I mean, it basically invented the idea of a deathmatch. The term comes from Doom 1. So, yeah, okay, I take it back. If if a game was released, uh, you know, if they re-released a, a popular first-person shooter today that didn't have... Where'd that come from? Who did that? <laughs> I just love their groans when they die, their death modes. Ooh. Uh, but if a popular first-person shooter were re-released today and it did have, oh, God, uh, sweet multiplayer setups people would actually really like it. So I take it back. Um, I, I don't think people would complain about Doom 2. I mean, people can't complain. Oh, two for one. I love that. Let's do it again. Oh, he shot his buddy in the back. Oh, man. That was awesome. Oh, double barrel shotgun. Oh, wow. Well, that was easy. All right. Well, we've seen all the new content. Uh, well, thanks for tuning in. Just kidding. We'll keep going. I guess we'll kill some more guys. What? The doors open way faster in Doom 2. Here. I don't know what... Something has happened. The door technology has improved significantly since the era of Doom 1. They were able to perfect the door opening uh, mechanisms to a level not yet seen in modern 3D video games. Although, of course, we do remember from when I played uh, Doom, uh, Doom 1 that Doom, Wolfenstein, Doom 2 here, none of these are actually 3D games. They are 2.5D games. Basically, this is Doom. It's a 2D game, a top-down 2D game. It's just that uh, rather than play it this way, so all the physics and mechanics of the game operate in 2D like this, but instead of playing it this way, what you get is a first-person ray-casted view. And uh, you might have to go and watch some more technical videos if you really want to fully understand, because you may be thinking, Jay, 
What are you talking about? Of course it's in 3D, just look at it. But no, it's a two it's a 2D game from the perspective of first person, which sounds kind of weird, but uh, if you go watch some uh, more technical videos, they will explain to you in uh, precise detail exactly what I mean. So uh, it is interesting how a game that is technically not 3D can lead to so much 3D good funness time. So, uh, oh God. Let's uh, detonate these barrels, see what happens. Did it kill anything? Nope. You gotta be careful when there's barrels around, because if you accidentally blow one up and you're standing right beside it, you will die. Like, look at that, the health pack right by the barrel. Oh god. Oh god, I fell in a hole. That's not good. Blow up a barrel. Blow up this barrel. I, I'm, I'm in some kind of maze now. They lured me in! Oh! God! <laughs> The one thing I find is difficult uh, about playing uh, playing Doom 2 here, oh wow, pain reaction there, is that I'm playing on a keyboard the way I did back in the day. I find the mouse controls of this game are not any are, are not that much better, but like there's I don't think there's like a strafe left or right button. You have to hold Alt and press left or right. It it it's weird. It's sort of like the controls they're not bad, but they're just not as optimized. I think as like the, the normal W A S D sort of format so it's actually like I feel like I'm turning left and right a lot more whereas in modern games I would be like strafing and stuff like that oh you jerk I think he killed his buddy I like to imagine these monsters have like rich inner lives and like they have disagreements and grudges and like maybe that guy was just waiting for an excuse to like kill Terrence you know in the sewers he was like man if we ever get into a combat situation together as soon as that guy turns his back on me I'm gonna gun him in the back and he totally got his opportunity and did it. We got 100% of the... What? What? We got all the kills, all the items, and none of the secrets. That doesn't make any sense. So the secrets had no items and no kills? So what were the secrets? Just like, here's an interesting empty room for you to explore. Take a look at this. Look at the lovely architecture in this secret conservatory. I don't know. Um, oh, here we go. Can we can we get that armor, do you think? We'll have to do a running start. Yeah, yes, we got it! Oh, we fell immediately right off. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. Oh, no, wait, we can go back up. Oh, sweet. So, running is how you jump in this game. Very weird. Again, it's t it's 2D. There is no such thing as a jump. You may be also be wondering, how do you have different elevations in a 2D game? You can have different elevations, but you can never have two elevations that overlap. So, for instance, the stairs here are high up, you could not have a, an alcove that goes under the stairs because according to the game when you're at this coordinate uh, you're at this height and when you're at this coordinate you're at this height you're up here so you can have height information but I can never be at this coordinate and be down here so you can never have overlapping heights in a 2d game and that's another hint that you're actually playing a 2d game not a 3d game guys despite the uh, illusion of elevations or it's not even the illusion there are elevations but it's uh, you know um, again go watch those videos I'm doing a terrible job at explaining this you're probably scratching your head like Jay it's getting more confusing and uh, there's really nothing I can offer to, to help you out there all right this guy look at it look at that sweet naked demon butt that sweet chocolate brown butt we're gonna chainsaw it but I just want you guys to take it in for a second before I brutalize this guy and this guy too Chainsaw is my only weakness. Okay, we're we're at a distance, so uh, let's not waste good good shotgun shells on these guys. I think one killed the other. No, they're still uh, trying to kill me. Oh, now they're fighting. They're in fighting. Yes, it begun. <laughs> they're kind of like dogs. Like if a dog nips another dog, then the the first dog then will turn on the second dog, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. These guys are just like little, little old demon dogs. It's like a poodle. This guy's like a poodle. Or like a little Jack Russell Terrier. He's been bad. We got to punish him by shooting him to death. Bludgeoning him to death with a shotgun or firing bullets at him until he, he dies. Oh, God. What are, what are these things down here? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> so there's an invisible demon running around down there. I don't know if you can really see it. If you see, see it's like a silhouette that's moving around. It's funny to imagine he's just walking around like uh, minding his own business and he starts to get riddled with bullets. He's like, what the hell's going on? All right, let's 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 go down and end this thing. Where are ya? Where are ya? There we go, we got him. Don't know what it was, couldn't see it. 
Knew it had to die. And that's a chain gun. That is clearly a trap, by the way. As soon as we grab this chain gun, guys are gonna appear from like every freaking direction and we're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Let's go for it though. I'm game for a trap. Oh, there was no trap. I, I am I am shocked at the laziness of these monsters. I definitely would have laid a trap if I were the monsters. Oh, where do you come from? He just appeared right behind me. Maybe he was like sneaking behind me, he wanted to like Metal Gear Solid me, like choke me out or something. Did not get the opportunity though. There's another guy shooting at me, what's going on? <laughs> See, it's better for these monsters to just not even try and fight me, because really all they're doing by shooting is alerting me to their existence. And it ends about as well as you would expect it to end if demons are fighting Doom Guy. Doom Guy, what a name for a hero, by the way, eh? Doom Guy. Again, kind of like a lazy name. But, I mean, Doom. Okay, Doom stands on its own. Doom doesn't need cool characters or awesome stories. Oh, what the. What, what the hell was that? Is there a, a little creature down here? Is this biting me? I hear something that's groaning. Why was I getting hurt there? Oh god, what is this? Oh, there's something here! Well, we're not alone. <laughs> okay, one more one more tip. This was a 2D game. I was standing over here, high up on a ledge. The creature was down on the water, but it was biting me. How could it bite me if elevations mattered? Well, it bit me because technically we were standing side by side. I was here, and it was here. And it was facing like this, and it was attacking, so it was going like this, and it was hitting me way up there. Um, again, elevations don't matter in Doom. That's why you don't have to aim up or down. Now let's try and run and get this thing if we can. Nope, that's not going to happen. Okay, so we need that rocket launcher. It's a matter of principle. We're going to find a way to get this thing. I think I could jump into there, though. So yes, Doom does not need a... Damn it. Does not need a plot does not need major characters. I mean, okay, you you want to know what the plot for Doom is, Doom 2 here? I, I didn't know after all these years. I actually had to look it up before I decided to make this video. Just looking for secret doors here for a second. Um, okay, here's the plot of, of, uh, of Doom 2. Um, after stopping the Mars invasion of demons, Doom Guy goes to Earth to find it's been invaded too. So we're actually on Earth right now. We're not on Mars. Looks just like Mars. You would never know, but yes, we're on Earth. Um, I mean, man, Earth has really let itself go, by the way. It just looks like weird metallic slums all over the place. But anyway, uh, Doom Guy is now on Earth, and billions of people have been killed by the demons. Uh, like, where are they? I have no idea. Um, there are still survivors, though. Where are they? I have no idea. Um, and uh, the survivors have a plan to build a uh, spaceship. Or I guess a series of spaceships. Okay, we just teleported somewhere. A series of spaceships to get them off the planet and escape the demon invader invaders. And so your goal is to help them build this spaceship and then uh, take control of some spaceports that the the alien demon guys are holding on to, so that the humans can like launch their ships. Like, where is any of this? I don't I don't see any of this happening in the game. Ah, oh, there was a sneaky demon in there. Let's chainsaw him. Oh, you. All right, you want it, Pinko? You got it, Pinko. One to the face. Everybody gets one. I'm gonna double barrel this guy. Boom! <laughs> oh, that's so satisfying. So anyway, you're also trying to take control. This is grass, by the way, I guess. So I guess we are on Earth. Look at this lush, green, beautiful grass. This is a garden. This is a garden in the world of doom. Looks terrifying. So you're trying to uh, save a spaceport. Um, so that you can, you know, have all the humans escape and go do human-y things in the stars and not be demons, which is good. Again, I don't know where these survivors are in the context of Doom. I don't know, they're out there somewhere, I guess. And eventually, when you do take control and you send all the humans into space, they send you a signal back saying, Hey, we found the portal where all the demons are coming from. It's in da -da -da -da, your hometown, Doom Guy! It's almost like the, the demons have a personal vendetta against Doom Guy. And uh, so you go to the portal, blah, 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 you can't close it, you realize you gotta go into the portal, so then you step into the portal and you go literally to hell to fight the demons, and you kill some kind of mega demon, and that closes the portal and everyone lives happily ever after. That's, that's the story. Oh, you son of a... Oh, wait! 
Wait. Oh no! Oh no, we didn't get the rocket! Oh, we totally missed a secret. That was like not even a secret. That was like such an obvious thing. Oh man, damn it! Alright, well I guess we're not getting that rocket. Damn, that sucks. Rocket would have been super helpful. So yeah, Doom does not have a really strong plot. Uh, doesn't need it. Doesn't need it, I, I would argue. Ba-boom! Boom! Oh, they were in the middle of infighting. Didn't want to break that up. Best to let these monsters fight it out. Um, one of the creepiest things about Doom that was true of Doom 1 that is also true of Doom 2, here's the lighting. Like, uh, Doom, it was a very creepy game for its time because, like, you could never quite see what was in the dark shadows. Oh, God. Who's shooting us? Some guy over here. And what, what is this place? This is like a, uh, this is like a, a meal counter or something where, like, the awning is malfunctioned. It's just going up and down, up and down. I really want to blow a guy up with a barrel, because that's actually one of the funnest things you can do is in Doom. Exploding people into little bits is a, is a fun way to spend your time, guys. You heard it from me. Uh, only on Halloween, though. Only on Halloween. And only if they're demons, zombies, or Nazis. Actually, speaking of Nazis, <laughs> since we're on the topic, um, there is a secret level in Doom here. You can go ahead and play uh, one, I think one or two levels from Wolfenstein in Doom, which is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I will get to it. M maybe I'll like include it one way or the other. Oh God, I'm like almost dead. What's happening here? As, a, as like something at the very, very end of this video. But yes, you can. Oh man, they're like teasing me. The blue key card's up there. You guys see that? I don't know how to get it though. So clearly this is not where I have to be. Let's play the game in 2D for a little bit. Wee! <laughs> this is Doom. Uh, don't you guys recognize it? The classic. Wait, was there a door over here? Oh, that was a blue door. The classic DOS game that we all grew up playing. Doom. Um, oh, wait. Here's a switch. I think that'll give me the blue key card. Yep, yeah, there it goes. Okay, so did, just did it in the wrong order. That's okay. I needed this health. I need to come back to the health. I do love how Doom Guy gets like progressively more beat up and bloodied. Uh, like, seeing his face is just like... It was, it was so perfect to think of that. Um, I, I lost track of what I was saying, though. So, Nazis, Wolfenstein 3D, maybe we'll include that. Oh, God, there's a monster! <laughs> oh, man. It's fun. It's kind of quaint, like, how, quote-unquote, scary this game is. I do remember as a kid, legit, like, being scared. But, like, nowadays, I feel like this isn't that scary at all, obviously. Um, but if if we were to play like Doom 3, I find Doom 3 actually pretty damn scary. Um, again, not like terrifying, but like, you know, scarier than this, I think. Oh, God. Oh, there's fireballs coming from the darkness. Must be monsters in there. Oh, you dick. <laughs> um, but I think the new Doom, I think that, so I think Doom 1 and 2, obviously, were scary for their time, but... They're kind of quaint these days. They're not super scary. Doom 3 tried to make Doom really scary, and I think they succeeded. Like, Doom 3, I think, is the scariest of all the Doom games. And then for Doom 2016, I'm getting totally lost. But see, look, in the, with the auto, auto map here, it's very easy to see the boundaries of the room. Um, but with Doom 2016, they kind of took it away from being scary and turned it back into, like, a hardcore action game. It's totally fine, actually. Um, I've been meaning to play Doom 2016. I just literally haven't gotten around to it. But uh, I've heard lots of good things. And I would I would enjoy going back to, like, a simpler time of shooters where it was just, like, running around, like, you know, bunnies on crack, jumping all over the map, killing each other. That does sound kind of fun. You know, shooters have got, gotten super realistic, and they all have cover, and they're, they're much slower paced and stuff sometimes. Or, like, they're, like, one-hit kill fests, like Call of Duty. Like, any gun can one-hit kill you. Remember the days when, like, in order to have a gun that would one-hit kill you, you needed, like, the golden gun? You know, and many people wouldn't even play with the golden gun. They're like, nope, golden gun off. That is not a fun way to play the game. Now Call of Duty is like every gun is literally the golden gun. You shoot me in the head, I'm dead. Doesn't matter what gun you got. So it kind of, I don't know, it takes a little bit away, I think. Just my own thoughts, though. So yeah, going and playing Doom 2016, I would totally be into that. I saw one of these boxes go down. So there must be a way to get up. So hold on. Okay, hold on. What does this lit literally do? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. 
We gotta hit this and then we gotta run. Okay, here we go. You guys ready? <laughs> Didn't do anything. Didn't do anything. Okay, there it goes. Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> okay, wait, wait. Maybe it's on a timer? Can we go over here like this? You, you run by holding shift. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Run over here. Okay. I, I'm so confused. How do we get this box to move down? Also, we're trying to get a box to go into the floor. This is weird. Yeah, it does nothing. Yes! Okay, we did it! Then we just walk over carefully, get the key card, and we got it. Oh, a teleporter. Even They even give us a convenient teleporter here to beam us back out. Now we gotta find the red door. Whatever the hell that is. I, I am saying, I, I will say that I don't find these levels super confusing. Um, one thing that I've always found confusing about like Wolfenstein and, and Doom is sometimes you can get lost in levels. I think Wolfenstein more than anything. Um, so by the way, we'll be playing Wolfenstein 3D uh, in the next few weeks, actually. Um, and I, again, won't be talking about all the stupidness that happened with the, uh, you know, the whole Nazi stuff with the uh, re-release of Wolfenstein and all that crap. Um, the tr truth be told, I actually recorded the Wolfenstein video already a long time ago. I've just been sitting on it for various reasons, so it happened. I recorded before any of this silliness online ever actually happened. But I don't actually want to go back and include discussion of it because I don't know. I just it's just stupid, guys. It's just dumb. I don't know why uh, why it's being made such a, a big deal. Uh, the, here here's my opinion of it. I don't see anything wrong with killing Nazis. That's, that's my own thoughts. Uh, end of discussion. <laughs> Feel free to debate me in the comments. I probably won't even bother replying because I just don't care. I think if, if you have a different opinion, there's something wrong with you. Anyway. Um, how can I not find the red door? We have a key. This, this rarely happens. I have a key and I literally have nowhere to go. Uh, ah, here we go. Here's the red door. All right, let's see what waits us. Oh, another door. Another red door. Oh, and now a yellow key card. All right, I'll bite. Oh, nice try, buddy. Oh, there's guys behind us. Oh, don't kill me. Oh, he shot me off the pillar. Oh, God. Oh, there's more of them. This not, here's the trap. I expected this from the demons. They're finally pulling their A game. I'm proud of them in a way. But we do leave no survivors. Oh, there's a chain gun guy. Oh, but we will take his chain gun. You know, there's two teleporters. Hold on. Is there a guy up there? Oh my god, are they using the tele- They can teleport? That's actually terrifying. They've learned- It's like in Jurassic Park when they realize that the Velociraptors know how to open doors. Um, okay, we'll get this. There's like a guy dancing right over there. Gotcha. Alright, let's go ahead. Um... Huh, okay. Oh, there's like a switch over there. Okay, I gotta get that. I, I think we're almost done the level. The levels, I feel like, are quite... They're almost a little more linear than in the original Doom. Which, I again, I'm not complaining about. Not not being lost in a video game is not a bad thing, per se. There we go. Nice little bridge extended for us. And boom. Oh, nice try. I played enough Doom to know there'd obviously be a monster hidden behind the exit. Nice try, Pinko. Those little pink naked demons. It's funny how like all the demons are running around naked and they all have the like they have clearly molded butts that you can see if you see them from the right angle. Like I definitely remember seeing a lot of the pink butts from those pink guys we just killed uh, when I was a kid. Um, Doom obviously was a huge, huge um, success. I mean Doom 1 and 2. Doom 1 basically sort of legitimized the shareware model because the way Doom 1 was distributed is that um, there was a shareware slash demo. Oh crap, it's on the hole. Ah, oh, you you sneaky jerk. Oh well, I got armor out of it, so can't really complain. Um, but the way Doom 1 was distributed, there was like a demo, a shareware version that only had the first episode. If you wanted the other two, you had to pay. And it was actually brilliant because people got obsessed with the demo. It was like installed on more computers than like Windows 95. Um, it was like an insanely popular game that everyone was playing. And so it was very easy for them to sell. Now, 
you know, uh, as, as we know from like piracy and stuff these days, you know, for every sort of free copy that exists out there, um, you're only going to get like me, or you're, for every 10 sort of people who are playing it for free, maybe you'll get one sale, which isn't tons, but like still it's enough to um, have a, like a really successful um, game on, like especially back in the day, a game like Doom in the DOS era. Um, but for Doom 2, they decided to eschew all of that, and they were like, you know, to hell with giving people this game for free, to hell with demos and shareware, we're actually just going to release this in stores, and that's exactly what they did. So Doom 2 here was a full commercial release. There was not a shareware version, as far as I was aware. Damn it. <laughs> there was no shareware version that you could get. You pretty much had to walk into a store and buy it. So Doom 2 was a little different in that capacity, and I honestly, honestly, yeah, we just saw that, that demon's butt before we killed him. Um, honestly, it's kind of one of those things where, like, I think Doom 2 was played a lot less because of that. Like, I have clear, vivid memories of playing tons and tons of Doom 1. I did not play Doom 2 as much as a kid, and I definitely had a friend who had this game. Like, I remember playing it at his house, um, but... I guess it was just sort of like, you know, if I went to my uncle's house for Thanksgiving or like anything like that, I could be pretty sure on his laptop Doom would be installed. I cannot say the same thing for Doom 2, so I think I had a lot less exposure to Doom 2. And to be totally honest, like Doom 1 is totally nostalgic for me. Doom 2 just feels like an add-on to Doom 1, but I know it a lot less well. Um, and I think it's just because of the change in models. Now, I don't begrudge id Software for what they did. I mean, you know, they, they got to make money. They're making the game. They got to they gotta sell it. But I think sort of one of the unintended consequences is that um, Doom 2 has like a different sort of imprint on our minds and our memories than uh, Doom Doom 1 did. And that's just, just a matter of how they did the game. Whoa. I don't, I don't like going in rooms that are totally dark like that. Oh god, it's not even a room, it drops you down. Whoa, weird. So there's a guy way out there. Oh, there's a couple of guys. This is where we gotta strafe. Man, fighting in darkness. This is actually pretty cool. It, it's terrifying, but uh, okay. There's a door over here, too. Think I didn't see that, did you, buddy? You were hiding in the hallway like a coward with your buddies over here while having a naked dance party. Watching this guy in the cage dance for your pleasure. Right? Oh, oh, and here's the, here's the pit boss coming out. Oh, there's guys behind me, too. I'm getting shot in the back. Down to 38% health. Yikes. Oh, here we go. Now we have full health, though. Oh, and we have the black med pack that makes you go berserk. My screen is like all red here. We gotta, we gotta like find someone to punch before this wears off. Is this, is this like the equivalent of night vision in Doom? It's like the closest you're ever gonna get. Come on, I wanna punch someone until they explode into bits. You're, you'll do. Come here, come here. Oh, we blowed him up. Oh, we did that guy too, and that guy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, like they're fighting each other. Yes, do, do it. Kaboom! Oh, he killed his friend. I love it. <laughs> yes, yes, fight fight amongst yourselves. Oh, God. These are like the zombies that displease the demons. They, uh, they did not do their job. They did not, they were not good evil henchmen. Okay. So, wait, there's a red key card in there. Do you guys see that? We gotta figure out a way to get in there. Somehow. Oh, there's the stairs. Man, it's so dark, it's like really hard to see what you're doing in this game. Alright. Let's go with the one barrel. I don't wanna like waste the ammo. I think we ping that guy's arm. He's rethinking his life as a demon. Oh, nice try. They do like really wait and like try and ambush you, eh? Like the it's like you just walk around a corner and he's already got his gun out. He's just waiting for me to walk walk around the corner so he can blast me in the face. Oh, I love those death screams though, they're hilarious. They kinda remind me of like the aliens in XCOM. They make similar death screams. Ooh. Um, like, uh, like Doom, Doom 2, by the way, has also, you know, like, it, it was a commercial release, so it wasn't shareware, blah, blah, blah. But it has also been ported to, like, virtually everything. Like, it was on DOS, it was released a year later on Mac, you know, they put, eventually put on the Game Boy Advance and the Xbox Live, it's even, it's on the iPhone. Um, there's even some obs obscure devices, like the Tapware Zodiac. I have no idea what that is. Where are we, by the way? Is there any way out of here? 
I, I have no idea what that is, but it's a thing where you can uh, you can you can play Doom 2. So it's some kind of like weird Game Boy music thing that like never took off and was a total failure. Um, because none of us have ever heard of it. If you if you have a Zodiac tap wave or whatever, can you leave a comment telling me what it is and like why you love it or why you hate it or something like that? I just I, I've never heard of this thing. Okay, we're in underground caves and we're we're totally lost. I guess I've been here because some demons have been slaughtered, but you know, it'd be cool if in this game there were like other Doom guys running around doing their own thing, and you could encounter them, and like they could slaughter enemies too. That'd be kind of cool. You could have like competitors, like how Indiana Jones had like uh, Belloc or whatever, who was like a, a competing treasure hunter, and they were always like one step ahead of each other. Okay. See, sometimes it's easier to play the game this way. Like, have we been in this room? Nope. <laughs> oh, here's a rocket launcher. If I had fired, I would have died. Oh, man. This thing. Okay, you guys want to see what happens if you fire too close? Here's what happens. Boom! Your screen goes red, and you're dead. But we saved our game, because we're smart. So, and we knew we were going to do something really stupid. All right, we finally got the rocket launcher. There's only like two more weapons. There's like the plasma rifle and the BFG, which stands for the big fucking gun, um, which is a, is an amazing name for a rifle. Okay, where do we have to go, though? So Okay, so we can't go into this door. Okay, forgive me, guys. I got to do some exploring in the land of 2D to figure out exactly where we need to go next. Ah, a door. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm kind of stupid. I guess you can't see in the darkness, but there's totally, like, a very obvious door right here. I saw, I found it through the map. I was like, oh, yeah, like, yellow means door, by the way, or, like, passageway, so. Anyway, here's a door. Um, I did kill these guys earlier. I punched these guys into little bloody stains on the in the corner of the room. It's awesome. I would like to know where I am in the context of, like, Earth. Like, I'm on Earth. Like, what kind of, what conceivable building is this? Oh, skulls. Floating floating skulls that seem angry and explode when you shoot them enough. Those might be evil. That is a good candidate for being literally evil incarnate. Okay, so now I have the red key, so now I can go down here. I'm pretty sure it was a red door. Here it is. Boom. Oh, I hear demons. You guys got a pretty nasty demon infestation here. Can clear them out for you, but it might take a while. My rates are very reasonable, though. What do I got going on in here? Anything? I I don't want. I don't know if I want to go in there. <laughs> Stepping into that room, summon a man with a shotgun. If you go to walk into a room and a ma and a wall moves out of the way and a person holding a shotgun s growling appears. You might want to have, you might want to rethink your whole desire to enter that room. May not be the kind of room that you actually want to, uh, want to enter. If I ever walked into a room and like a wall just folded away and there was like an armed man behind it, I would, I would immediately exit that room. I think that would be my strategy. I would say, well, I don't know what's going on here, but I want none of it. Good luck. I'll see you later. I, I'm, a, I'm very kind when I'm terrified. Very, very pleasant. Oh, what the hell is this thing? All right, this, you know what this thing is? It's a rocket eater. God damn it. <laughs> oh, he, he ate that guy. Kaboom! Kaboom! Oh God, it's hurting us. Where is it? Do you want a rocket? Kaboom! Yes, we did it. <laughs> we found a good use for the rocket. I love how like it's brains and eyeballs are skewed all over the place. This game was so freaking bloody and gruesome. It's awesome. I know why I loved it as a kid. There's literally no mystery to it. It was, it was everything I wanted it to be as a child. As a young, as a, as a little young buck, I wanted nothing but violence. Let's go and kill this pink demon because why not? Because pink demons are scum of the earth. They don't deserve to live. Um, is there one on this side too? Because I will kill him. I'll kill y'all, pinkos. There you go. Looks like there's also a secret room back there. Hold on, let's just let's see if we can try and get there. Why not? We're in no rush. The exit's right there. We know we can pass the level. Let's just see what. Ah, damn it. Let's see what happens. It's really inconvenient to not have a jump. 
after this, after Duke Nukem 3D came out and you did have a jump, it was really painful to go back to, to Doom's, like, mechanism of, like, literally no jump. It's like Doom guy never heard of the concept. He's like, push both my feet off the ground at once. Why would I do such craziness? I don't know, whatever. There was an obvious secret there that we couldn't get to. But we killed 80% of the demons, and we found... You can always sort of figure out how many secrets there were in a level by the percentages. 33% suggests to me there might have been three secrets in total, or maybe six, and we found two of the six. Um, or maybe we found one of the three. Maybe there were nine, and we found, It's a multiple of three is what I'm getting at, guys. Um, do the math. <laughs> All right, should this be the last level? I think this will be the last level um, of Doom 2 here. Whoa, whoa, oh God. I was gonna say we'll get as far as we can, but I'm literally down to 3% health, so uh, maybe it's not looking too hot for us. Oh, and we're literally dead. We're literally dead. Okay, so now we get to restart the level. All of our gear is gone, all the sweet, all that work we went to to get the, 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 the what you might call it, the rocket launcher and everything is done. You know what, by the way, I'm playing through this. I'm almost positive I've played through all these levels already on my channel. <laughs> it's possible that in the Brutal Doom playthrough that I did, I was playing levels from Doom 2 because this all looks super familiar. So I don't know, maybe you're having those same feelings of deja vu, but I'm almost positive like I've been on this level too before. Oh God, oh God, There's and there's gonna be real big guys. Yeah, I have played this level before. Can't, I don't know if I played on my channel or I didn't bother recording it when I when I did play this, but uh, yeah, this this is uh, one of one of the demons, one of the bosses of hell. I think this is like the boss from uh, Doom One, like the big the big bad final boss. But I think here he's just like a mini boss. Actually, no, he's not the the big bad final boss. He's um, I think the boss. You fight two of these guys at the end of Episode One. At the end of Episode Three, you fight uh, like a. Uh, spider brain thing so oh yeah but we got a new gun hey at least I get to show you a new gun stop it stop shooting fireballs at me you freaking imps this guy's like hanging around down there being a dick <sighs> okay we got help <laughs> doom guy has seen better days oh that's not where we want to teleport kill these guys. So Doom 2 here, this is one of the games in the book, 1001 video games you must play before you die. We're playing it obviously because it was both in the book and because it's Halloween's right around the corner guys. I know Halloween's a North American thing and I have a lot of viewers from like Europe and Australia and like other parts of the world that don't necessarily celebrate um, Halloween. But whether you celebrate it or not, hey even if you don't celebrate it, all that happens is uh, a bunch of kids dress up like monsters and stuff and there's a lot of candy involved. But I mean, like, that's all it is, so I mean, if you if you watch a few horror movies in October, yeah, you're celebrating Halloween your own way. There's there's really no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I know, uh, um, oh, we just mowed those guys down, sweet. Man, this is, this, this game is like a murder simulator. I mean, I guess that's why parents did not like this game so much, but, uh, anyway, Doom 2, I think Doom 2 holds up very well. Um, I have said multiple times before that if you are even mildly interested in Doom, first of all, you can't go wrong with the originals, but I also firmly, firmly, firmly believe that Brutal Doom is an insanely good game, um, on par with modern first-person shooters, despite the fact that, it, in, in, in fact, it might even be enhanced by the fact that it has sort of retro pixely graphics, but they have added so many new mechanics. I definitely recommend Brutal Doom. Um, and if you want a slightly more authentic retro experience with Doom, um, I mean, Doom still holds up. It's still very satisfying to shoot and gun these guys down and stuff. You won't have modern mechanics like aiming down sights and stuff like that and reloads and stuff, but uh, hey, Brutal Doom exists for those of you who want a slightly upgraded Doom experience. Um, and I think this is a terrific game to be playing around Halloween. Oh, I thought I died right there. So, uh, if, if you are looking for kind of like a scary game to play that's seasonably, seasonably appropriate. Um, oh, we killed each other. Mutual suicide. Um, Doom 2 is definitely a game worth trying. Anyway, those are my thoughts, guys. What do you think of Doom 2 here? Do you have lots of fond memories playing this as a kid? Um, is it a game that you always wanted to try and just never got around to it? Um, or is it a game that you look at and you go, bleh, not interested? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. 
Um, and as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, until we meet again, guys, don't get trapped in hell. As if that, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, peace. Alright, here we are, in the land of Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein 3D, Doom Guy found a way in. And there's little Nazis. And we're gonna kill one eventually. <laughs> they even go, my Leben, just like in Wolfenstein 3D. What's going on with the perspective here? Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's kill this guy. And let's totally get this chain gun. Yeah. Now we're gonna kill some Nazis. Um, but hold on a second here. Do you guys notice anything weird? Do you feel like you got shrunk down? Like, honey, I shrunk the kids? Like, look how giant, I can't, I'm, the doorknob is higher than my face. What is happening? Okay, it's really cool that they made a Wolfenstein level, but I think they totally messed up the perspective here, cause this is, this is weird. <laughs> All right, so we're, we're exploring these prison cells. So we got going on, let's kill some Nazis. That's what I'm here for, to gun down some Nazis. Some like mini Nazis, it's like they got shrunk too. Like look, look at this cute little Nazi, cute little baby Nazi got shrunk down to like, he's like a, as big as a little cat, a little cat sized Nazi. Um, anyway, this is a secret level you can find in Doom 2. So, uh, you know, if uh, if you hate Nazis and want to kill them, um, you, you can do that. Oh, we even got a, there's, there's a few influences of Doom here. So it's almost as if this this isn't fully the Wolfenstein that we remember. It's like a hellish Wolfenstein simulation that uh, that hell itself has created. Uh oh god. They also scream like monsters. I never heard a Nazi scream like that. We're also insanely low on health. These Nazis are tougher to kill than they seem. No! 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 <laughs> Oh man, you're just pumping me full of lead. Well, there you go, guys. Secret Wolfenstein level. We did it. I feel like he's doing a little victory dance there, by the way. Look at that. He's like so happy he got me. He like can't contain his joy. <laughs>